Video 11, Pre-Fault Theory Section. In the Pre-Fault Fault screen, there are three setting options. The first setting tab provides the option to configure the magnitude, angle and frequency independently. So, when I access the Pre-Fault and Fault screen, we have three tabs as shown here. The value will be injected by pressing the play button and the kit will continue to inject till the stop button is pressed. So I have configured 1 amps in all the phases and 63.5 volts in all the phases to balance phase angle and frequency. If this option is pressed and the duration is entered by pressing the play button, the value will be injected in the relay we can check the measurements. And it will continue to inject till we press the stop button. So the timer which is configured here for pre-fault will work only for the third option and not when this option is pressed. The second tab, fault plus timer. The second tab provides the option to enter magnitude, angle and frequency along with maximum duration time and a dedicated off delay time. This duration can be set between 0 to 35 minutes in terms of 1 millisecond step size. The value will be injected by pressing the play button and the kit will continue to inject till the relay trips or the configured time is elapsed along with the off delay. So, when this option is chosen and when I press the play button, it will continue to inject till it receives the feedback. So, we can see there that the relay has tripped, the feedback was received and the trip time was around 19 milliseconds. Let me reset the relay. Now, let me show you the third tab. The third tab provides the option to run the first and the second screen in sequence. The values last entered will be saved by default and will be available even after the reboot. The entire results can be saved and viewed in the report. So let me play this. So the healthy screen followed by the fault screen, will be played and we get the timer. The report can be saved using a quick save option after every test case and just by pressing this button, the results can be saved. Now let's check on how to save the report. Before starting the test, we can click on this button Press on this new screen. We have also enabled the quick save mode. By pressing this button, it can automatically save it. So let me run the states and identify the pre-fault is configured for 5 seconds with healthy current and voltage. The fault state with fault current. And by pressing the third tab, I can inject the previous two states. Now for 5 second healthy condition, followed by a fault, and we can observe the trip time is 20 milliseconds. Let me save this report. To view the report, press this button and you can see the 20 milliseconds with the respective current and voltage. This can be exported and saved.